Hey, what's going on, everyone? Guys got game here with uh, your co-hosts, uh, OG Hypnotoad, and I'm here with Diglett Dreams, the one AKA, and only, aka Matt. And yep. uh, for our little collab series here, if that's what we call it, uh, Matt's gonna show me how to play Duelist. Now, I've seen Matt, you know, upload Duelist on his channel. I've seen you know bits and pieces of Duelist on like Twitch and stuff like that. Never really knew what the game was, but figured, you know, hey, I could try it. It's a free game. Uh, it looks interesting enough to me, so... Uh, it's a lot of fun. Apparently it's, that right now. <laughs> apparently it's a lot of fun, so that's all awesome to hear. Uh, I've only done, like, the very, very intro tutorials, so I literally know just, like, the very basics. I have no idea about strategy, anything like that, so... Yeah. And I wouldn't really say I'm an expert anyway. Well, you've played more than me, so... That's I mean, true. So do I just go play and play a practice game here? Is that what I gotta yeah, do? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. Uh, I guess I got a practice game here. Yeah. And. All right. It looks like it's just gonna make you. Lionar, and then I get to pick my. Should I pick oh, them? Says Magmar is recommended. Magmar. So. All right. Hey, that's Pokemon almost. I was, so. I was gonna say, is that a, is that a Pokemon? <laughs> I I know, I know Pokemon. Yeah. So. Oh, wait, your opponent is a Magmar. Uh, Ripperoni. <laughs> so let's see. <laughs> so it seems like when I was yeah. playing this, it kind of seems like Magic the Gathering to some sense. Yeah, because it, is, it is very card and deck based. But the yeah, thing that's interesting about it is you have the whole tactics and board aspect to it that makes it really interesting. Okay, it says click to replace two cards. Should I replace one of the five guys? Because it'll be. Yeah. Maybe wow. even both of them, honestly. Replace both it'll, of them? It'll be a while before you really get them out. Okay. And you already... What you want in your first well, turn... Got you one back. draw that guy back. <laughs> you really want okay. the two drop uh, on your first turn. All so right. you can play, have something to play. So, uh, so what I recommend is just walking straight forward. Okay. And then playing the best position on the board is the middle one. This so one? the quicker you can... No, the middle next to that that one. Okay. So... And then the closer, the faster you can get to that, the better. And yeah, just drop that guy out to the corner. All right. And so, Dave, have you figured out what these little mana orb things are? Yeah, it's like when you step on them, you get like an extra mana thingy up here. Yeah, exactly. All right, so you don't know nothing. Okay, what is he doing? Is he attacking? No, he's summoning. Oh, okay. Rush. So if this thing has rush, so that means it can attack and move right away. Oh. As opposed fine. to normal things that can't do that. <laughs> so he's gonna kill your guy. But it's a but he, it's, at least he trades. It's a it. trade, yeah. Okay. Uh, should I move straight forward again? Just keep going. Yeah, forward? definitely take that center spot because that means next turn you can take either of the mana orbs, whichever one he doesn't go for, or whatever. Okay. Hey, what are these? Give all friendly minions plus one. Okay. Uh, so what you could do here is take the six and put it in the replace thing, and you can get a different card. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You can do that once per turn. All right, so that's pretty four, solid. Four, three, two, four. Uh, I would play e either one of these is good. But if you play the the golem, I'd play it like in front of you. If you right play here. The the other guy maybe behind you. Okay. Yeah. Oh God, you drew the big guy. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, I can get him eventually. Maybe. Yeah, it'll be a few turns, but. Yeah. And he goes right for me, so. Oof. And then he's just going to summon something on there. Oh, God. Should we start being scared. worried? <laughs> no, actually, you have the the true strike, which is that sword thing. Yeah, okay. I can just that play that right can, now. You can easily just kill this this thing. Okay, yeah, true. Get rid of that right now. <laughs> what if I played on my own, my own guy? <laughs> <laughs> it would just take damage. <laughs> it wouldn't even die. It would just be, like, really sad. <laughs> okay, and I should summon another guy. Yeah, do that. Okay. And this guy's cool because he has flying, which means he can move anywhere on the f on the board once he can move. Obviously. And then should I move this guy up to take this and then kill this guy or attack with this uh, guy? I don't think you need to take it just yet because you can't really get any use out of it. Okay. But you have a pretty solid uh, block. You're blocking him from getting it, so you can just get it next turn. Okay. So, yeah, so just, just attack him. Just kill him. Just kill. Just go for the kill. <laughs> Uh, 
I really want to summon that seven guy just to see <laughs> how that works out. Yeah, this guy's pretty pretty powerful. All right, he's summoning another minion. Another okay, one. and you also have the the same spell to take him out too. <laughs> Very nice. So just play that there. Yeah, okay. And what you can do if you want is to run up and grab that mana, and then you could potentially play that five guy. Ooh, I like that plan. Want. Yeah. I can draw a card. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, does this really matter where I put him here? Does not really matter? Uh, not really. Like, okay. I don't think he can't. He, I don't think he'll be able to kill it before okay. you can get a use out of it. So. And so the flying guy can go literally anywhere on the map. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool, yeah. Ooh, the double war surge could be really powerful. So, is this like this the basic deck you're given with originally? Yeah, you start okay. with this. And then as you uh, play more with each faction, you unlock more cards. Okay. So... So those two would trade if you attacked... Is that worth? Wait, it, it would it does give you advantage because this thing's dying wishes you get to draw a card, or you could do that actually. Yeah, the bloodborne spell. I mean, you but could just like that would only wait. Here's my, okay. Wait, you could use the bloodborne spell wait. on your guy, and then use the war surge as well, and you might even be able to just kill this guy right now. All right, I'll I'll just use both war surges and see what happens. And yeah, that should that should be nine. So yeah, if you use that on the same guy, it'll okay. give him plus two. <laughs> you can just move him and attack the general. Yeah. Yay! I won. <laughs> we replaced this guy in the beginning, but he came in to win it anyway. Well played! Yay! <laughs> yeah, there you go. So I think you unlock. So level up some cards or something. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is one of the best cards in the Lion R faction. Cool. Oh, and you get a Spirit Orb. Nice. Spirit Orb. What Spirit so Orb? Basically, like a card pack. Oh, cool. Oh, and you unlock Magma. I never got had to do that actually. <laughs> when, I, <laughs> when I started it, you just had them all. Had a That's kind of cool. Claws. Huh. All right. I played in the beta, so uh, uh, I'm <laughs> Win two practice games. Should we try to go for uh, that? Yeah, sure. I think okay. we could fit two more in. I don't know how long you want this to be. Uh, only like maybe like eight minutes, if that. So. Eight minutes. N not 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 necessarily. That. <laughs> yeah. I don't know the exact time we started, so. <laughs> All right. Well, I guess I'll just. Oh, uh, yeah. Vitruvian is one of my favorites. Vitruvian? Oh, yeah, this is the guy you're facing right now. It's okay. Vitruvian. Uh, it's a pretty decent hand, right? Yeah, this is pretty good. You got a nice two drop. Actually, you could even, when you start, when, you, uh, when you're when you the second player, as it switches on, you're, you're on the right side of the field, you get to start with three mana. So oh, cool. You could actually play one of these two. All right, I'll definitely keep that hand, I guess. Oh. What's this card though? Give me a plus attack equal to its health. Ooh. Yeah, that card is really strong. Yeah, so this is definitely like a, just a strategy card game, but like in a multi-linear plane, I guess. Yeah, it's really really cool. Wait, what does this thing do? Summons that dervish. That's really cool. At the start of your turn, summon a 2-2 two, two Wind Dervish with Rush nearby. It disappears at the end of your turn when you can't move or attack. Okay. So, so yeah. just run forward, or yeah, you can do that either either way. Because you're not going to get the middle before he does, unless he doesn't take it. So If I play him right here, do I get that? Yeah, yeah. Is that worth doing? Uh, Maybe not. Really. No? Okay. Uh, but you can also play those bracelet bracers. Give your general attack. Might as well. <laughs> and end the turn. Yeah, so that's a dervish right there. 
Okay, That's he one shouldn't. One of the main reasons I like that faction is just the dervishes are so cool. And he shouldn't be able to attack us, so that's good. Yeah. Alright. Alright. He doesn't even play anything. So now move here. Yeah, why not? Uh, and you can play either the Blood Shark Golem and uh, Divine Bond or something else. I don't know. You got a couple options. Alright, I'm just going to summon What you guys. could do is play the Blood Shark and then Divine Bond your flying guy. Ooh, yeah, because then I could take out this thing, right? Exactly. I will do that. Divine bond, that boy. And then, like, fly him, like, down to, like, the corner over here. Like, on the opposite side of the Over channel. here? Yeah, so, like, you're kind of out of the way, too. Okay. So and you can, like, save that nice boom. six powerful hit for later, too. Nice. Hell oh, yeah. I forgot to attack. Oops. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm not too worried, I don't think. Yeah, you got this. No, you attacked my general. Uh, oh yeah, the uh, thing about the artifacts, which is the, the bracers. Mm -hmm. You can if you uh, if you take three hits, then it breaks. So you only have two more hits with it. Okay. So definitely want to move this guy up here and take this thing out. Yeah, why not? Just so he doesn't get any three hits later. Mm -hmm. Uh, what do I have? I have five. Uh, I'll summon this guy, I think. Alright. And then just kind of double up. Just smack him. Alright, alright. He's already down to 15, yeah. Yeah, I'm not really too worried about it, but <laughs> yeah, I guess you nice never know. It doesn't stand a chance. No, he just attacked the four guy. Why did he do that? <laughs> oh, he sees your necroseer and he raises your necroseer. Uh, let's see. Oh, this thing has rush. Oh uh, yeah. Wait, where are you gonna place? Uh, wait, hold on. No. You could probably even kill him right now if you do the the tiger and the war surge. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Let's move yeah. here. Take you out. Oh yeah. I didn't have to do the war surge if I really don't want to. <laughs> but Yeah, that's true. Overkill. Why not, though? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and just to show my power, I'm gonna take out this guy first. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> See who's the stronger necros here. And absolutely bodied. Boom. Easy. Uh, Alright, cool. <laughs> yeah, nice another level up. Ooh, almost got the f two levels. Yeah, these guys are cool. Yeah, this is a pretty cool game, I'd say. It's oh, yeah. It has some like slight Yu-Gi-Oh, you know, elements to it. Mm -hmm. Uh, I guess just go for the, this one. Is might as well just keep using the people I'm using now and not switch yeah. yet. Oh boy. Uh, ooh. <laughs> I drop him in one of the fours. Provoke. What's provoke do? Provoke is like uh. If uh, an enemy is in range of a provoke minion, they so they can't move and they have to attack the provoker before they can attack anything else. Ooh, I'm gonna keep the uh, cel celerity. Yeah, that thing means uh, it can attack and move twice per turn. Cool. Yeah, let's do that. Well, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get much better. Yeah, you can still try to replace something though. Oh, true. Let me do try that. to get a two drop. Uh. uh Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh well, that happens. Okay, we just got that guy. Does she have a, does she have a gun? <laughs> or no, no, that's, that's like a, a staff. Okay. Yeah, or it's like a, a magical staff thing. I thought that was like a, like a machine gun or something like that. I'm like, holy <laughs> shit. That'd be pretty crazy. That would be. 
So many one one what? Um, Wraithling. Uh, As a okay. one of the main components of the Abyssian faction, which is the one you're facing right now, is uh, little Wraithling things. So you can, they, they can have a card that summons three of those, and they have all kinds of different effects that summon a bunch of them. Okay. So like, there's a whole uh, way of playing with these guys where you just like swarm the field. <laughs> just keep summoning more and more. Yeah. Okay. And then you can like sacrifice the wraithlings and let to like get other things out. Um, oh, it's all kind of carries crazy stuff. It's pretty fun. All right, I think I think I did okay that turn. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, cleared the cleared the board, which is good. And okay. Oh god. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That's a powerful guy right there. Wait, what is it? Six? Um. Uh, I'd try replacing one of the war surges just to see if you can get anything useful. Yeah. Alright. Okay. So, wait. So, if you use that. Oh, well, you don't have enough mana to do both of them. Yeah, I realize that now. Shit. All right. Well, I guess the best play then would just be to like run, run away and put summon the provoker between you and it, just so it can't hit you that hard. And then put this what like right here. Yeah. Okay. Just so there's no way it can hurt you next turn. All right. Well. Yeah. Defense is definitely a. Oh, why couldn't have gotten so that card too. first? Oh. Okay. <laughs> Because this thing will take me out, right? Wait. Ooh, Demonic Lord. That's a good card. So that thing, it does one damage and then throws it away. So it, it's going to move you into the corner over there. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. This computer is on another level. I guess. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm getting my ass handed to me. <laughs> Um, okay. The right, cool thing, though, is now that that Thorn Needler is in range of the True Strike. The what? Oh, this is? Yeah, so you can kill that with it pretty easily. Okay. Wait, can this thing move? Yeah. Okay, if I move it here, Yeah. does that mean they can't attack me? Yeah, they, unless they kill it. Which they probably can't. Anyway, this l the whatever this is, this lasts forever until it dies, right? Yeah, until it dies or it gets dispelled or something. Eh, it's not worth using yet, I guess. Yeah, it is a, it's a good win condition to hold on to. Yeah, I'll just play this guy here. Alright. And that's my turn. Oh, they're so not gonna have that that little uh, see that little like what's it? I don't know, like a little sound wave thing that's like underneath the creatures. That means they're provoked. That little I don't even know what to call it. It's like a little circle. Yeah. <laughs> that keeps, like pulsing. All right, cool. All right, oh, he's got one of these too. That's fine. We can handle that. Yeah. So, question. Mm -hmm. Since this thing is provoked by this, if I move this yeah. guy here... Yeah, he can't be attacked. Unless he can't be. He kills, he kills the provoker first. Okay, hold on. Oh, yeah, the war surge would actually be good here, since the this guy can attack twice. Hold on. So, if you don't attack yet, if you well, want, I, you can... I, I can attack her. I can attack her, though, right? Yeah, you can. But if you want, you can use the war surges... B bust, buff this guy up really a lot and then he'll be able to attack her twice and deal a lot of damage okay so hit her for 12 basically or you could also divine bond too yeah and that would leave her with one <laughs> <laughs> glad I saved it right yeah <laughs> oh yeah that's beautiful 
That's the power of divine bond right there. That's that's a pretty pretty <laughs> awesome set I'd say. Mm. Ooh, and next turn you might be able to summon the golem. Ooh. I kind of I kind of want the last kill to be with that, but <laughs> All right, the shadow watcher this thing is pretty scary. It's a uh, effect is that any time uh something dies, it gains plus 1 plus 1. So you see the that thing died and it went to 3-3 three, three instead of 2-2. Two, two. Mm. Put that guy there. Yeah, you could kill the that thing with your provoker if yeah. you want. Or that, yeah, that too. And then get to kill the golem next turn. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and just for shits and giggles, let's move this up so yeah. that way. Get on the offensive. Corner her. <laughs> oh wait, 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 wait. Bond. <laughs> we, we <laughs> gotta do it we gotta do it <laughs> of course we were just gonna annihilate her yeah overkill to the max Ooh, Straight any minion. that's a nice card turns that into a wraithling I don't know why not the, the dragon bone golem though please tell me you can move uh, from range no I can't reach <laughs> I'm waiting I will wait oh, yeah and might as well just move here and then attack. Yeah. And then you there. And you there. <laughs> <laughs> Literally just coining your hand. Yeah. This is revenge for taking <laughs> kind of an early lead. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Ooh. Turn that's eight. a powerful. That's a powerful spell. Shadow creep is a. It takes a, a space on the board, and then if, if you're standing on it, you take damage for how many shadow creep there are on the board. See like that. So it's pretty pretty powerful. But you can kill that wraithling thing with your general, and then yeah. finish it with the dragon bone golem. Okay, move that there. Now, hold on, hold on. <laughs> Let's go ahead and try. Oh, I can only replace once per turn. Okay. Let's do that. Yeah. yeah. Although, it's not like getting plus 10 because I lost health, but. Yeah, yeah. 18. 18 is close enough, right? Still pretty good, yeah. On a, on a 1. <laughs> on, a, on, on a 1, one yeah. <laughs> Oh, nice. cool. So Very that nice. should get you some new cards. Let's see. Yeah, that's a good card. Gain plus two attack. So the yeah, zeal is when, uh, if you're standing near the general, you get that effect. Oh, cool. And, and that 100 gold. gold, that's worth another orb if you want. And I locked them, so that's cool. Yeah, these guys are pretty cool. They're all pretty cool. I don't know all right. why I keep saying each one is cool. <laughs> They're all cool in their own way. Yeah. Okay. I think we should end this episode by op opening up some orbs. Yeah, let's do it. See what crazy stuff you can get. I gotta click on them, or? I guess, yeah. This is new to me, actually. <laughs> it's been a while since I've opened an orb. Glacial Elemental Vesper. Whenever you summon That's a Vesper cool minion, deal two damage. Okay. That can work with some nice combos. Death Watch. Swing a Wraithling on a random space nearby. That is a cool one. Wings. Ooh, I like that one just because it's like a bird thingy. Oh, yeah. Let's replace this card. Wait, whenever you replace a card, this minion gains plus two share out there. Ooh. Three. Yeah, that's a really Wait, cool race. one. Yeah, the screen share just froze for a second, but I'm caught up. Why does this shiny one like? What's the difference between this one? Oh yeah, they just updated it. It's like, uh, it's like holographic basically. Oh cool! I got my first holo. So, yeah. Permanently gain one mana crystal. Ooh. Yeah, that's a cool card. And then white oh, widow yeah. minion. That's one of my favorites actually. Deal two damage to a random enemy with a minion or general. Wow. 
Yeah, replace Ooh, is these, a really these cool. These two cards right thing. here are pretty good together, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, I have a deck that's kind of based around that. Oh wow. Okay. So I can get one more, you think? Because I have the yeah, hundred gold. Yeah. Hundred gold is the same. Is equal to a orb. So if you want to get one. I'm clicking it, but it's not letting me get more. <laughs> <laughs> you might have it too. I don't know. Get more here. There we go. There you go. Okay. Doing <laughs> just <laughs> forty right away. <laughs> Yeah, just drop that forty dollars. Okay, I buy it or yeah, okay. yeah, it should be. There you go. All right. I forgot I gotta click on stuff. <laughs> sure, a puppy dragon. Aww, it's a puppy dragon. <laughs> yeah. At the end of your turn, there's you a couple cards in the game that are named after, uh, like streamers and YouTubers. Oh, that's pretty cool. So this is one of them. There's a Mogwai card too. Oh, is there really? Yeah. I I need that card. <laughs> Mana Forger, yeah. Arnicus. The first non-Bloodborne spell you cast each turn costs one less. Hmm. Yeah, that thing got nerfed. It used to just be like a constant, like spells cost less. Effect. Golem Metallurgist. The first Golem you summon yeah. each turn costs one less. Provoke Minion. Hmm. And Jade Monk. Ooh, Jade Monk. Whenever this yeah, minion like takes damage, deal one damage to a random enemy minion. Ooh. All right, cool. I have no idea what these cards do, but they seem <laughs> pretty learn. cool. So, hold on. So, if I wanted to go build a deck, would I go here to collection? Yeah, go to collection. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's a lot here. And, and then I think in the bottom there. Crafting? Craft, uh, crafting, that's like crafting a card if you want. Wait, but how I don't do you, think you... You need to get spirit. Uh, and the, the only ways you do that, are, I think, are like leveling up and then uh, okay. disenchanting cards. Wait, that you hold have. on. I want to find Mogwai. I want to find Mogwai's card. Alright, yeah. He's uh, he's in the neutral. Yeah, there he is. <laughs> Meaning, after this move, Smith's moves, draw a card. Okay. That's not yeah. terrible, but hey, at least nah, he has a card named after him. It works yeah. in the right deck. Okay, so if I wanted to build a... Oh, new deck over here. Okay, I see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So the way the decks work is you pick a general, mm -hmm. and you're limited to everything in the neutral zone, and then the faction that the general is from. Okay, so not not too, you know, terrible, but you can make some decent things with all the neutral oh, yeah. guys. Yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff in here. And the more you play, the more cards you get. So... Very we'll cool do some here. more. Very cool. Okay, I don't think I'm going to get into that just yet, yeah. but... This is not uh, enough. Yeah, I'll, I'll eventually get into that, and maybe I'll eventually... Is there, like, can I search you up and play you? Yeah, yeah. Uh, go to, I think... Yeah, go to friends on the bottom right there. Okay, friends. You can uh, add buddy. Add buddy, okay. I'm going to click it. Okay. Dig with dreams. Lowercase, or does it matter? Uh, I don't think it matters. Yeah, it just puts it all in uppercase anyway. All right, add friend. Friend quest yeah. sent. Accept. All right. Oh my God, you're 24. Yeah. <laughs> I'm what four? Well, no, that's a rank on the ladder. Oh. Oh. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. All then. Yeah. The the level four you're at is just for that faction. Okay, I got you. So you level up with each faction and unlock stuff. Okay, that seems pretty cool. So probably what I need to do is I'll need to uh, kind of grind away some of like those practice matches. Yeah, unlock all the other factions and stuff. Unlock the factions, unlock more unlock cards. The cards for each faction. Then I can build decks, and then yeah. I can kind of get more in the laddering. Yeah, definitely. Okay. So once you get to level ten with each faction, you've unlocked all the basic cards. For okay. That faction, and then you can, as you keep going, you'll probably you can like you can manage to get an orb per day if you just play it for like an hour. I could, yeah, I could definitely see me getting into this, you know, semi decently. <laughs> yeah, they're about to come out with a huge thing too, as you see the den denizens of Shimzar thing. Oh yeah. They're about to come out with a huge new like. I don't even know what to call it. Pre-order special offers, hello? <laughs> yeah, it's kind of expensive. <laughs> oh my god, 50 bucks, no. Yeah. Alright, well, 
I think we're going to go ahead and call it for this episode. Uh, yeah. Don't know, you know, how often this series will be up mm-hmm. on the channel, but uh, definitely would want to do more of these because this game I'm is pretty cool. for that as well. So, uh, I don't really know how to do an outro for this series, <laughs> but uh, I guess whenever the next episode comes out, uh, make sure you guys watch it. Uh, thanks to Matt for kind of showing me the ropes so far. Yeah, no problem. It's my pleasure. And uh, hopefully this means I'm kind of into it and I get addicted to it and I can blame you for it. So Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the dream. The Diglett that's dream. The, the Diglett dream. <laughs> All right, I'm going to end it off of the, on that bad pun. So see you guys later. <laughs> Great.